was so much fun. So Woo! much America. So Woo! much America. Four murders. Oh, January 6th will be a day in infamy. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and I was seduced by the crowd. I was just moving forward. My curiosity got the best of me. Joseph Biggs, one of the Proud Boys, broke down crying in court recently with snot bubbles popping and tears running down his cheeks. He mumble cried to the judge, I know I messed up that day, but I'm not a terrorist. Judge Timothy Kelly saw otherwise. Judge Kelly pointed out that the crimes these jackaloons were facing were very serious. The judge told Biggs and the other defendants that there is a reason why we will hold our collective breaths as we approach future elections. They pushed this to the edge of a constitutional crisis. Judge Kelly wanted to emphasize that Biggs' sentence was meant to communicate a need for deterrence. Big messed around and found out, folks. Now he, among the other Proud Boys, are having a lot of feelings and will probably be crying themselves to sleep for quite some time. Federal prosecutors had requested 33 years in federal prison for Joe Big, saying that he was a leader of this uh, violent attack on the U.S. Capitol, um, showing images of him with a bullhorn leading uh, the mob towards the Capitol. Proud Boy Enrico Terrio got 22 years. Ethan Nordin got 18 and Dominique Pizzola got 10 years. Joseph Biggs receiving 17 years sends a clear message of deterrence for future idiots not to repeat the same mistakes. Biggs is an Army veteran who lost everything, and he deserved it. Joseph Biggs was 33 years old. He was given one of the longest prison terms so far handed down for anybody who was involved in the attack. Before sentencing, Biggs showed no remorse, though he called January 6th a warning shot to the government. Biggs was considered to be the tip of the spear for the Proud Boys with his role to overturn the election. He tore down a fence that helped clear the way for the mob to reach the Capitol before his counterpart, Dominic Pozzola, gained access to the building. A Proud Boy in rancher slang refers to a castrated bull that thinks he's still the real thing. The comparison fits for these crybabies too. What a group of jackaloons. They talk tough and blow a lot of smoke, but when they get caught, they cry like schoolgirls with skinned up knees. Enjoy prison life, you morons. You earned it. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.